I'm going to show you how to add um, realistic looking white whiskers onto the finished piece. Um, so here I'm using a, 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 a Caran d'Ache Museum Aquarelle white. Um, the little uh, marks that look like something's been biting it are actually from my pencil sharpener. Um, I'm going in very lightly. Um, I could get really, really bright white uh, lines if I wanted to, but what I'm after is um, just where the sun catches those whiskers, um, you know, so, so bits are, are lighter than others, and it's going over the, um, the layered black uh, and and the the caput mortem violet really nicely, but I, I am I am really using a very light pressure, um, and you can see just in there the 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 middle bits are just highlighted. That's the the, the sunshine catching those bits. Um, and what I'll do later on, you'll see me do later on, is just come back in with probably a um, a Faber Castell polychromous walnut brown and black, and just. Um, just fill in some of the brighter bits you'll see in a minute I put a uh, I put a, light, a, a whisker in and it's really quite bright and I'll come back and I'll um, I'll, I'll just uh, make that a little bit subtle there you can see that that one there is a little bit too white and it doesn't look really realistic um, and this is kind of what you what you're looking for is uh, the the realism with your whiskers not not bright white um, all the whiskers looking identical and the, the same widths and everything so I'm just very lightly going in over the layers um, I find that the uh, the museum aquarelle works really really well uh, on the pastel mat that I'm using I'm using the dark grey pastel mat board um, and it, um, the, it it really does you really can get light over dark I find with using the white pastel mat board um, it doesn't work as well um, and for that I would probably use a scalpel um, you can see this one that I've just put in there it's quite thick up at the top and you'll see later on in the video um, I uh, just sort of touch that so that it doesn't look as if it's it looks like it's coming out of the the, the horse's nose rather than sitting on the top um, so the the white museum aquarelle works really well at light over dark especially on the darker shades of pastel mat um, for, for cat whiskers um, you know you can really get some some nice bright white whiskers in there you can see this one that I've just put in is quite bright white um, and you can you can go over the top again with like a polychromos or a, a pablo or something like that um, but it, um, it it's it's very easy to use it's quite a thick pencil so I use a swordfish uh, pencil sharpener and it, and it only just fits in it's a bit of a, a bit of a um, a struggle to get it back out again but it, it does it does fit in so here you can see I'm just going over these really bright areas with um, the uh, ivory black Caran uh, Pablo um, which is a, a it's just slightly blacker which sounds a, a bit strange than the uh, than the polychromos black um, just to go in and just just touch up those the bits of the whiskers um, again here you know just just covering up again if I've made a mistake and again with the Museum Aquarelle really really light pressure um, just to make them look realistic I think if I went in bright white they wouldn't it wouldn't go with the rest of the piece um, and, it, and it would look a little bit odd but for a cat's whiskers you might want to go in with, with much harder pressure um, you know because it um, with cat's whiskers they are more uniform and they are sort of brighter white and then I'm coming in just to the side of, of the horse's lip and just putting in um, the, uh, the the whiskers on that side and with horses you tend to get um, different colored whiskers you might have black ones you might have brown ones um, you know um, so it's always good to sort of always check your uh, your reference photo uh, they don't have to be identical to the reference photo um, you know uh, although if you've got a very a horse with a very hairy chin you, you probably need to put all of those hairs in because it's part of the horse's character and likewise if you know the horse has got like a, um, a little moustache or something that, that they do need to go in so I'm just just plotting these um, and it's very light pressure and then I'm going in again with the um, with the putty eraser just literally lifting it off very lightly so that you've got um, thicker bits of hair and thinner bits of hair and it just makes it look a little bit more realistic um, and then uh, using the white uh, museum aquarelle again um, you know it, it really is great for doing uh, light over dark so 
So here I've got the uh, ivory black Caran d'Ache Pablo again. I'm just just lifting off those really bright bits that um, that went down a little too hard when I first put them on. Um, and you'll see uh, this is a, a, a Faber Castell Polychromos just to kind of brighten that that hair there. And then I'm going to come in and just lift off that end um, bit just to make it look a little bit more realistic, you know, so it's not sitting on the horse's nose. This is a walnut brown I'm using. Um, and, and again, you know, just it's literally just to make it look that little bit more realistic. 